Not for my clock in this bitch. This ain't no this though. Bitch ass nigga. Boom, bought that chopper knocking, yeah. Pussy the bitch, I ain't say shit when I was left for dead. And that nigga out the eight, he was left with red. This for this and on the dead, so this how we go play. Make me bust your So, first off, I just wanna start by welcoming you to Amanda Roses. You know, just introduce the people, you know, let them know your name, what you got going on. G Baby Baby G, man. They, are, they, they should know who I am. Check it out. So you've been you coming from out of New Orleans. Uh, which part of New Orleans you from? I'm the Nine Wall. Alright, well, you coming from out of New Orleans, out the Nine Wall, you building up a buzz on your own. Yeah. You got your thing going on. So just uh, get into that, telling them um, how you got started rapping and how you started creating that buzz for yourself. Man. The boy, man, he ain't even from the city, cause they don't, they don't be showing no one love. But it's like, I just like, I just started rapping. Like, I just felt like rapping. Like, fuck it. Alright. So how long has it been since you started rapping? About a year now. Yeah. About a year. And how old you is right now? I just turned 20. Alright, but. So what, what made you, uh, you know, want to actually get into to rapping? I don't know, like, like, I've been rapping for like, Forever, like it feel like forever. Ever since you know I been small, but like after a while, I been rapping. Niggas are like here, and they'll be like, man, you fucking cold. But I want you know, I just think that like in my partners, and they just be like, oh, you just cold, just to say it. But then after a while, I'm like, fuck it. I went to the yo, and ever since then, I just been making songs. Yeah. And I kind of want to take a step back, and um, you know, you said the city, you don't really be getting a lot of res uh, support from New Orleans. Speak on that a little bit. Why you feel like that? Cause they like, cause they bullshit. Like it ain't, man. Like it's, they they fuck with who they want. It's hate. Like they fuck with who they want. Like if like if you wasn't popping already just from being popping, you start rapping, you ain't gonna pop for like a lament. Even if you fucking cold, man, I don't care about none of that. You lit, then they gonna fuck with you. You gotta already have a name. So what's some, what's some steps that you took to, you know, create a name for yourself? Cause like even your views, you're getting like 20,000 views on some of your videos and you know, you got videos that, that's going up. So what's some steps you took to get to that point? Man, consistency. Keep on rapping and like, I just gotta keep, keep on coming. It gotta be hard. It can't be mediocre. It gotta be hard. If it ain't hard, they ain't gonna fuck with it. And another thing from um, that I noticed, like coming from New Orleans, a, a lot of people they be wanting, to, you know, the, the rapper to to look the part too, and it be hard for a lot of rappers to do. But I see that's something that you know you got on point to where you know you got the the shit where you dressing, you got the shit to where you know what what you rapping about is what people want to hear about. So just speak on like your style and where you get that from. Uh, it's just like it's natural. As in like how like I look, like just the whole like the cadence or just like your rap style, I like just, yeah, like the, yeah. It just was like it's natural. I just went in there and that's just how I just started. Like mm -hmm. it took me like um, I just built it, right. playing with different sounds here and there. Like everything, I just built it. Like I ain't start off as how like, as I right am now. not. Yeah, right. like it just took time over time, trial and um error. Just time is. Right. So bring us back to like uh, your first um, your first music video. How old you was when you shot your first music video? I was 17. 17. You remember the name of the video? Yeah, Merge You Up. It's still on YouTube? Yeah. All right, but so just talk about like how you grown since then as an artist. With the shooting the music video, I feel like that. I'm Not even just the music video, like just as an artist, period. Ever since then, I feel like I elevated just my whole song like i feel like everything just elevated from the image everything right. from me like really hard hard working up at first i would go to the studio once a month if that because i was so focused on trying to get all the money in the streets but other than that, after that shit i just been in the yo now i go to yo like every week I so, go every day for sure so dive into that a little how, how you uh go about differentiating uh you know, from being in the streets to being in the studio, because a lot of people think they could do both, but it kind of hold their career back. So speak on that a little bit. You can't really do on both, cause it's cause both of them take 
take all your time and your energy. So you trying to rap one day, then you trying to do this, it ain't gonna work. You gotta have a hundred percent in the one of them, or you will get fucked up in either one. And um, another big thing that I noticed from rappers from New Orleans, they don't really be having like a lot of guidance, like the support really not there. So just speak on, um, like you feel like you're doing a lot of stuff on your own, or do you got some support? Do you got some guidance from people that done probably been through this before, or they just want to help you out? Or you know how that go? You go, girl. Oh, I got like a little guidance. It ain't really too much, but everything from. From the start, it just been damn near on my own. Right. Like, it wasn't too much, you know. Help. If I'm not doing it, nobody doing it. Right. Real talk. Right. So, like, how you feel, like, about, because, like, now you you, you you up and coming all this, you know, people starting to pay attention to what you signed and what you got going on. So, how that make you feel as an artist? It don't really make me feel no, like, type of way now. Nah. But probably at first, when I first started, I probably went out with that. But see, like, now, nah, because people been looking over me for so long, now nah, like, I told you type shit. Like, but like, right now, I don't even, I don't even care about it, for real, for real. Right, so you feel like you kind of got, like, a chip on your shoulder, that type of uh, attitude? For sure. For sure. That's, that's exactly what it is. So if you could, uh, matter of fact, I want to talk about this before I hop into the other subject. I seen your... Uh, with the picture with Casanova, um, that's anything going on, or that was just like a picture, or just how? What that's about? Uh, we are uh, working on something. I can't really know, but we working on something. Dude. We got um, we we'll do a um, video and shit when we uh, come out here. Right, so when you took that picture, that was out here, or that was up there in New York. Right, right. So you be traveling around a lot. That's another big thing that a lot of artists don't do. So is that something that you? That you do, or is that some? Uh, how you feel about that traveling? Going. Yeah, that's the that's the first time I ever left um, mm -hmm. here. Louisiana. Yeah. Right. New Orleans, period. Right. Other than like from uh, what is it called Katrina, that's right. the first time I ever left, and that's what rapping did. If I wasn't rapping, I probably never left. Right. Never ever leave. Right. So just speak on that experience, leaving, and um, you know, just going to meet different people, being in a different atmosphere. It was everything was like real different. Like now it's like opening me up to like new um shit. Like everything like just different. Like it ain't like out chill. Like I can move different when I'm out there. I can be comfortable. Out chill, you know, you gotta be looking all that. And it had me on like alert for like the first day just from being down here. All right. After I really took took my time and you know, I chilled out. And um, it was talk about being being out here in New Orleans, cause like a lot of rappers, man, that I be talking to, it'd be difficult to um, to, like you say, you can't move how you, you know, you really want to move. You gotta always watching over your shoulders. You gotta always be on defense. I said some of them may even be on offense. So it's like, you know, you gotta really yeah, watch how you move. I mean, me, I watch how like I move, like for like, but the way I move, not. Nah. I've been moving like this for so, so long, to so where now it's just normal. Right. Like, it ain't like I done got into something, now nah, I gotta just move different. No, like, this is how I move every day. Like, it's a everyday thing. Right. So it's just easy. So how, how does it make you feel to know that, like, no, more people know your face or more people gonna know your face through the music stuff? And usually people pop off with the music before they really reach the... Uh, Mental like the state. the financial success yeah, with it, yeah, so yeah. they'll be famous, and you know, still in their city or still around. So you know, do you feel like you prepared for that to happen, or even like now, how you feel like about just multiple people knowing you when they see you? Uh, like it touched back to the um, other question um, when I was like, I got a chip on my shoulder right. or some shit. It's like they know me, they just know me. It's too like I already felt that I already felt I was cold enough and back back then. If you wasn't fucking with me then, now nah, it's just like you know me, know me, cool. Right. I keep it pushing. I don't want nothing from you. You can't get nothing from on me. Okay. So you had to uh, like if it was a new person watching this interview and they didn't know who you was, just pinpoint them to a song that you would want them to go listen to first, or a song or a video. If they want to hit me, I give them like a list of songs. They want to hear something, go listen to Bigger Than Big. That's what it's done, it's the thing. 
drop one and you can go listen to um, Rain on me just to see how I can switch it up. For sure. And kind of talk, dive into that too on your um, your, your rap style a little bit because I did see like you you versatile with it. You could go to a, you know some hype stuff. You could go to what you know it's calming down or you just talking to them. So speak on that. That just come from like well like I be saying you can't just be what it called one arm sided. Like you gotta be uh, versatile because if you one sided, then when you get up there. We ain't been working on other shit, and now niggas, they want to new shit, missing like different shit from me, and you just got the same thing over and over and over, you ain't gonna last long. Right. I'm trying to make music for everybody, so right. if, if, if he like hype shit, I got that. She want him love songs, I got that. He likes singing. Trying to be like singing. a true artist. Yeah. Definitely. All the way around. Thank you, bro. And, um, speak on like the, um, some of the difficulties of, of just being an artist on your path to, uh, towards success, because not a lot of rappers from New Orleans make it out. Fuck, before, like, difficulties, like, it just, like, it started off, like, basically, like, bread, getting all right. uh, money, trying to go here and that, this and that, this and that. That's where the streets fall into. I'm gonna say, come in, you know, like, if you ain't got the bread, how you go to the yoke? If you ain't got the bread, how you go shoot a video? So, like, that, that's all that it, that um everything was at mm -hmm. first was the bread, but after that nah, it's just the support from the city, and that's stupid hard. You gotta go somewhere else to all even right. get on that. So you got any uh, other rappers out here uh, from any other any other place that you mess with as far as like do songs with or something like that? Mm -mm. I got one feature. It, it's gonna come out. But other than that, I ain't, I ain't doing no song with no name. Right. So like your main goal is not to really be popping in New Orleans, like the New Orleans area. I mean it was, but it's like I'ma get popping here eventually. But if I don't, I'ma go somewhere else. Right. That's what I'm starting to do, branch off. Like I'm not trying to even worry about out here no more. Out here is like this now, like I don't even, you know, niggas who niggas who popping out here. Like, it ain't like that they just getting stupid bread for just being popping out here. Alright. Facts, facts. So, let's step back into, like, the music. Just talk about your process when you go into the studio and you making music. What's your process? Your process of making music? I get in there and I go. Like, I just get in there, put on a beat, whatever beat I'm feeling, I get in that bitch and I go. You right or you freestyle? Right now, but now I'm freestyle. But at first it was half and half. At first because, you know, once again, cause of the bread, you don't want to go in there and just waste, waste time. time. Yeah. So it was more right now at first. But see now, I do freestyle. I just go in that bitch and go. Straight up. And now I'm gonna take the um, next one coming out, most of, most of everything on there is on um, freestyle. Definitely. And just, um, let the let the people that's watching you know know some stuff that what you got up and coming. I got a new video coming out. I think it's, it's weekend. What this weekend is? The 15th, something like that. The 15th. Uh, I got a brand new tape coming out. It's called Nine Stop. Nine Stop. And it's about just like no matter what, I'm still coming. Nine on stop. No matter y'all fucking or not. Right. No matter what like goes on in my life, I'm gonna keep coming. All right, so, so it's, that's something you planning on dropping before the year out? Yeah, for sure. That bitch gonna be hard. Definitely, definitely. You got anything else that you would like to add? No, that's it. You had answered everything for yeah. sure. And um, I know I got your gram. Um, you got any other social media handles? You got a Twitter? Oh uh, yeah, I got a Twitter. It's um, GBM underscore baby G. All right, so I'm gonna put all your uh, social media information on here again and shit, man. Just wanna thank you for having us, allowing us to do the interview and just keep doing your thing.